what I want to show you is an experience that I had at Cocos with one of the bait balls. And what I've done with this particular clip is that I've slowed it down so you can kind of you know, watch and enjoy the action. And then I'm, I return it back to normal speed so you can get an idea of what it's really like in real motion. So here we go. So you uh, get an idea of the energy of this thing. You don't even have to be there. You can watch it and see it. But what struck me being on the edge of this is how controlled the chaos really is. The way the sharks are working through the water, the way the, the dolphin are bubbling underneath. Um, kind of the wild cards here are the darn tunas. And you'll see in, in a couple of shots here coming up is that the tunas come very close to me. In fact, I get bumped a couple times and it gets a little chaotic, but they are so fast. So now it's back to normal speed right now. Some of these sharks are probably upwards of 10, 11 feet, 12 feet long. The Galapagos sharks in particular, some of the black tip reef sharks are quite big. The scary thing about filming bait balls anywhere in the ocean is that the bait is attracted to logs, anything stationary, anything big that they can get around to get protection. And so what could happen in this situation is that the bait could switch over to you and all the sharks could come over and start feeding around you. And so um, you have to be careful about that. Uh, I thought you might enjoy this. This is a, uh, a silky shark who's come and said hello to me.